Hi everybody, it's Renee from Paramount Solutions in Orlando, Florida. I am one of the booking agents for Psychic Readers here at Solutions. We love to help with all sorts of areas of life. We are we have clairvoyant readers, they're all tested by us. Some of them use tarot cards, some of them are psychic mediums. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. We would like to welcome you to this latest edition of our Facebook Live. It's actually been a kind of a long couple weeks here. Um, we have um, had hurricane here in Florida, Hurricane Irma, and then we've actually been watching a lot of other things going on around the world, and we just wanted to say prayers for people in Mexico, Puerto Rico, and everyone in South Florida especially. Actually, I think the whole state of Florida has some damage, so just wanted to say that really, really fast. Um, anyway, if you would like to get a reading, we would love to help. Call us at 1-800-966-2294. You can definitely check us out more online. Um, at the psychicline.com. We have our blog up and then of course on Facebook at Psychic Readings by Paramount Solutions. We are also on YouTube at Psychic Readings by Paramount Solutions. So any one of those you can check us out. Um, we actually are excited for the fall equinox um, here. We do celebrate it um, on the, the 22nd which is Friday which is in about about a day from now. Um, it's going to be the fall equinox and we wanted to share some tips to help you help you clear energy and bring in some wonderful positive energy for the fall and through the rest of the year. Um, at the end of summer, it's a really good, good time to really get outside and enjoy nature. Um, really one of the best ways to cleanse your, ever, your energy is to get outside, breathe fresh air, maybe go for a walk. Um, even if you just wanted to heck lay on the ground somewhere, <laughs> go do it because this is the time to do it because you only have a couple months left until our good winter solstice. That gets a little bit crazier, um, but we also actually we actually also prefer if you would bring you know some of nature into your house. Um, for instance, if you wanted to do a little centerpiece with some gourds or some you know twigs, leaves that you find outside, um, it's a really good way to honor and um, you know the, the change of the seasons. Pine cones are great, but anything like that. Um, then you also have something natural in your house that brings in a natural element, which is also very very positive for your house's energy. Um, obviously plants are another way to do that. However, a lot of people in the fall like to do something very relatable to fall. Um, when you go outside, we just, we want you to savor every single second of the fall because it's just such a beautiful season, especially if you're up north, if you're in New York or Michi Michigan. I mean, it's just such beautiful areas to see all the, all the colors. We hope that you get to see those and enjoy them. Um, every season is a good time to re-examine your goals. Um, so we always recommend to Look at your last season goals because hopefully you do have a journal started on that and then when you look at last season's goals maybe there's some things that you can probably check off at this point but there's maybe some things that you also like to add and or modify on your goal list um, just before the end of the you know before the end of the year and before we go into the holiday season so be sure to uh, focus on your goals at the beginning of any season you want to do that the days are going to be getting a lot shorter here in the next couple months, obviously. Um, so it's really nice to have candles for natural light. Um, I always personally switch to like some just lightly scented fall candles because I love the smell of nutmeg and cinnamon and all of those different, you know, fall smells. However, that's not for everybody. So, you know, obviously use caution if you can't do that. Um, but definitely bring these sand like candles into your home. They bring light and they help bring some positive energy. Um, I actually did switch to this um, kind of a an orange type of candle um, here, but um, and that's mainly to bring happiness and joy into our home. I also have many, many different white candles, which are actually for positive energy and light, so you can definitely do one of those. Um, we always love to give thanks to the earth on any um, on any season change because that's always that's always very important. Um, obviously, with a lot of the different things going on this week, as far as with earthquakes and hurricanes. Just, you know, I just want to give more thanks to the earth just as far as to try to, I guess, give some love. It just seems like it's just a lot of people hurting right now and I don't really like that. Um, something you can do on Friday is call your Libra friends because it, we're going into the sun in Libra and Libras are very friendly people. They want they want to hear from you. They, you're just letting you know. They, they love to love and they love to hear from their friends. So just call your Libra friends and say, Hey, it's your birthday month. I love you. <laughs> they would love to hear it. Um, you can celebrate your harvest, your harvest for the summer. Um, even if you're not a farmer, because I'm not a farmer, um, you can always celebrate with things that you bring into your home and the successes in your daily life or in your what you have accomplished over the summer. Um, by focusing on your energy and your successes, you will actually fall into a more positive mindset. And then you will also bring in uh, more abundance, which a lot of people ask us about bringing in abundance. 
definitely having a positive energy in your home and definitely creating positive energy just as much as possible for yourself will help you bring in abundance. Um, by focusing your energy on your successes, you will actually fall into a more positive mindset and bring the abundance. When you focus on the positive, it's actually just, you know, even if it's a tiny little thing, focusing on that positivity will make positivity, positivity grow. Um, and then also being grateful for the things that are good in your life definitely will help, you know, help your energy and your, just in your, in your daily life. And it will also help bring abundance to you. Um, your energy and your intentions and how you do things are the most important things with abundance. When you're talking about abundance, a lot of times you need to know that it's a good thing to like make lists and to, you know, definitely focus on your goals because they don't really happen unless if you actually make them happen. Um, so you have to do, you have good intentions, make lists, and then go for your goals, what, you know, what you really want in your life. Um, we also always recommend this season going into the, you know, obviously the fall season, but also, you know, we have to worry about winters coming up. Something that we like to recommend, especially before the holidays, is to try to do something healthy for yourself, um, be it even just deep breathing, you know, for a minute every day or maybe getting back to the gym or back to yoga or something like that, definitely do that this time of year because once the holidays start, it can get a little bit harder because you're just off your schedule and everything like that to maintain just your healthy living. So we want you to be, we want you to be healthy and happy. So please, you know, do something healthy for yourself. And that could possibly be your, you know, the thing that you want to do anyway. So, um, well, we would love to help you. I know they have a couple of people asking about readings below. So I thought that I would just go over a little bit about that. Um, we actually are very different than a lot of the large psychic lines. We're um, tiny. We're maybe, I would think, maybe a sixteenth the size of our normal big competitors. Um, something that we do is that we do test the readers before they join us. And we actually do care about you getting a really good reading. We always have a five-minute guarantee. If you ever get into a reading with us and you don't like your reading, you can hang up, call us back here in the office, book someone else for your full amount of time. Um, we have all set rates and prices. We do have new client specials. Um, and then we um, have excellent readers on now. So if you wanted to call us, we would love it. We would love to help you. Um, we'd love to deal with relationships, business, work questions, uh, things coming up, energy in the here and now, empathy, you know, anything like that. We're very, very good with. We have excellent readers that can really help. Um, so if you would like a reading, please call us. We do not do any free readings. We like to like let you know that at first, but we do offer very low and very reasonable prices that are set rates. There's no additional charges or fees and definitely no surprises. So we're actually a nice company. We've been doing this for a long time. I've actually personally been here since 1997 um, as a booking agent for psychic readers. So I have, I think I've talked to a lot of, I've talked to thousands of people with about psychic readings. It's something that never gets old for me. I really love it. I think that it's really, really good for you to get a reading inside um, just to give a little bit of clarity and insight on what's going on maybe in a situation that you're in. So um, you can definitely call us. We would love to help. We are, you can call us actually toll free at 1-800-966-2294 and uh, we'll go over everything. I'm actually going to be the person here tomorrow <laughs> and, and actually all weekend. So if you need anything, just let us know. We would love to help. Take care and we hope you have all have a great night. Bye-bye.